off here in wave C. All right, so I'm assuming Skimbo is the Texans. Yeah, he's the taking the Seymour, Texans. Yes, Ravens. We haven't seen a lot of Baltimore Ravens. There's no. a lot of talk coming in about Lamar Jackson, that what his impact would be on the Madden Classic. We haven't seen it a lot on stream. Timor, he's going to be looking to make a name uh, for those Baltimore Ravens as it's going to be the back-to-back -back Classic champ, Michael Skimbo, with the ball first. So we're going to see West Coast from Skimbo using majority gun bunch. Um, a lot of people that use the West Coast offense, they do audible out to single back doubles, running a stretch dive scheme. <coughs> Skimbo is more of a passer, though. So let's see. Right now, they're just doing their setups. Skimbo, when he does run the ball, it's usually at a bunch, halfback draw, especially when he wants to play conservative. So let's see how he starts this game off first down. Already using a timeout for Timor. Lights, as, as a player, how important are these pre-play adjustments to your game? Oh, it's, it's so important. Setting up your depth chart, setting up your audibles. If you don't do that, you're not going to be, you know, depending on what the defense gives you, you have to be ready for it. You know, you have set audibles for certain situations, and depending on what Timor goes to, Skimbo might have to audible out. So let's see, nickel normal so far for Timor defensively. Gun bunch action from Michael Skimbo. Deshaun Watson, the escape artist in the backfield. He's going to take the snap. Verticals. Gets out of the backfield, rolling left side, and he'll throw this one away. Good defensive play to start for Timor. Great defense right there. Skimbo tried to max protect running verticals, uh, limited three route setup, and Timor had to D for it. The wheel route was not open, so Skimbo looked ahead to the crosser to the left. That was also not open, second and 10. Gotta love this Houston Texans team in regs. You got one of the few 99 overalls in DeAndre Hopkins on the outside. You've got an athletic quarterback in Deshaun Watson as he's gonna look down the that seam. That is not the That's throw. That's not a catch. Incomplete pass. Lights uh, thrown into quadruple coverage. Not what you'd recommend on your first drive? No. Uh, maybe Skimbo, Skimbo has something or knows something I don't, but that is not recommended. Right there, you do see Hopkins one on one pressed. So I wanna see if he can win that matchup right there. Looks open. And on third and ten, why not look for him? Diving play. He's a 99 for a reason. D Hop picking up the first down for the back to back classic champ. No huddle. So, Hopkins, post flag elite ability. He is going to be amazing on those post and corner routes. So, definitely look for Skimbo to exploit that. What a uh, defensive performance so far from Timor, as he has seemed to be, I don't know about flustering. The three-time belt winner. Little man coverage running back. Ooh. A little toss underneath. That's Kiki Kuti. He's been a guy so far for the guys playing the Houston Texans. You talk about DeAndre Hopkins. Kuti being somebody who's not getting looked at too much, but has the speed to be a weapon. Right. I mean, and you usually have Fuller going deep. So if he's not open, you have you see right there underneath routes is where he's going to specialize. Drag for the first down. We haven't seen Michael Skimbo. Use that halfback, the guy who's out for the entire NFL season, but is alive here in the classic. Lamar Miller on his left hip. Splits Verticals Wilfold again. Out wide right. Watson waiting, looking. He'll throw this one away. Great defense. You can tell Timor's prepared for that verticals play. Skimbo's going to have to open it up a little bit. Here's the tough part of your Timor. You're playing some great defense, but only three completions for Skimbo. Two have been for a first down. That's why this drive still alive. Shotgun. For Deshaun Watson. Little pressure right here. As Watson drops back to pass, looking down the seam, looking for Kuti, but a good defensive play. How important is it in Madden 20 to be an effective click on defender? Um, it's so important. That is definitely one of the pluses defensively this year, is you can click on extremely fast. So even if you have a zone defender that's kind of far away, click on, get in position. Even if you can't pick it, hopefully they drop that ball. Third and 10 for Skimbo. Driving back with Watson oh, on the left side. Oh. Tough throw. The user doesn't make a play. And Fuller, a little shimmy shake out of bounds at the 23-yard line. That could have been a momentum-changing interception. Instead, it's a first down for Skimbo. That was a super bailout right there from Skimbo. And I don't know why, but he's not looking sharp to start this game. How much How much does that play sitting here? Look at Timor. He's sitting there going, that was a pick. That was pick six. Instead, Skimbo nearing the red zone. 23-yard line, Watson. Rolling right side. He's going to go right up the middle, slide down, pick up five. I think that's the first time we've seen him really utilize Watson's legs with the escape artist. Um, Timor is sending about five rushers, so it is going to be difficult, but I think Skimbo is going to open it up a little bit more with the escape artist. Heading into the red zone, flipped bunch right here. Hopkins out wide left motion. 
Running back in the flats, first down. Tight end, Gillespie picking up a first down to the 12-yard line. Of course, the Texans, four X-Factors on the team, two on the offensive uh, side of the ball. With DeAndre Hopkins, one X-Factor, one superstar with Deshaun Watson on the defensive side, you'll see. Watch mess po post right here. Watson on first and 10. Going to the flat. Kuti one more time to the 10-yard line. So it's it's interesting. Skimbo, I'm noticing he's he's moving Hopkins around a lot. So the reason why I knew that was mesh post, he went ahead and put him out wide to the right, motioned him out. He's looking for him on the post. And Skimbo punched this one in from the 10-yard line. Watson steps up, left side. The newly acquired Duke Johnson with the catch. It's a first down at the two-yard line. Skimbo looking to start off this game right. Great way of adjusting going back to that mesh post, but focusing on the running back wheel route. Very hard to stop, especially if you have that outside receiver on an out. Goal line, fullback dive. There you go. Oh, what a stop. Holding Glaspia up, and now hurrying back to the line. One thing you don't have to worry about with this formation is really the toss and the sneak. So it's mainly going to be the dive as he scores right there. Hand it off to the closest guy to you. Let him walk into the end zone. It may not have been pretty. But the defending classic champ, the two-time defending classic champ, takes the lead with a touchdown on his first drive. Yeah, he'll take it. Like I said, he made some adjustments going more mesh post than verticals. Uh, Timor really has his defense set to guard that motion wheel route. And I think Skimbo, as long as he continues running that mesh post route, he's going to be fine next drive. As Fairbairn boots this one away inside the beautiful Pizza Hut Stadium. Marquise Brown. You can call him Marquise all you want, but we all know him as Hollywood Brown from the University of Oklahoma. And now we finally get to see that guy that so many people here prepared for, Lamar Jackson, go to work for t and the Baltimore Ravens. I blame Fitzmagic for this. Heavy Panther right here, Lamar Jackson. So difficult to stop. You do see that Skimbo's running a pinch D-line spread linebackers look. I do not think this is going to be that good because you do have off tackle to either side. Tight end Hayden Hurst in motion over to the right side, and here goes Lamar. And as you just seen, nine. off tackle to the right side. Uh, pinching your D-line is going to be tough because there's no one over the right guard and right tackle. You're going to be able to run it to either way. I don't like the pinch D-line look. I think keeping it spread is probably better for this. Second and two for Timor. First offensive drive down 7-0 to the three-time belt winner, Skimba. As Lamar picks up the first down, and I can hear everyone at home in the chat giving a, a heartfelt thank you to Fitzmagic for showing off this heavy Panther. <laughs> it, it's stoppable, but we have to see how Skimbo adjusts. Uh, one thing you do need to know about this, he is on conservative ball carrier. Okay, if you're not on conservative ball carrier, you will fumble. Also, he is protecting the ball as much as possible. He's holding that right bumper. You're going to see Lamar Jackson almost immediately is going to hold that right bumper. If, if Skimbo catches him not holding that and he gets hit, that's a fumble. First and 10 for Skimbo. We're going to see a lot of this with Timor on offense. It's going to be Jackson right up the middle. Boy, and you talk about the Baltimore Ravens not really known for, you know, you think of the top offensive lines, you're thinking Cowboys, uh, you're thinking the 49ers, a, a young offensive line. Ravens not one that gets talked about a lot, Lights, but they're really blocking effectively for Lamar Jackson out of that heavy panther. Right. Uh, Lamar Jackson has that fast break ability. That's something we didn't mention yet. You are going to be able to right away instantly on quarterback design runs, run up the middle, left, or to the right oh. as he gets blasted. Oh. Lamar, you okay? You good? He doesn't look okay. And that's a, a weakness of this offense is you might have to sub him out. He doesn't look tired, but once he's tired, you cannot keep him in the game. So definitely take note of that right here, third and four. Look at all the beef up on that line. So you see Skimbo already adjusted. He's not pinching his line anymore, shifting the D-line to the right. Third down and four for Timor. This looks like man coverage. Andrews in motion to the left side. And there's Lamar, he picks up the first down, and he picks up more, and here goes Lamar, action, Jackson down to the 20-yard line, it is how dangerous Lamar can be out of that heavy Panther set. It is so difficult to stop, man. You could hold it to three yards, four yards, two yards, and then all of a sudden you break off for a 50-yard run or possible touchdown right here. He's in the red zone, going to jumbo heavy, look for the dive right here. 
as just like that, it looked like maybe a bottle up from Skimbo's defense. Instead, Timor breaking a big one with Lamar. Now inside the red zone. Possible motion stretch. And it is going to be a stretch, and that's Mark Ingram, and he's to the 10, and Ingram says there's another good runner on this Ravens team. I'm going to find the end zone to try to tie up the three-time belt winner. Oh, Timor is ready. So this Panther heavy, you know, a lot of people might say it's it's not good. It's not going to win the tournament. You have to be a good player to get this done. Timor looks like he is well prepared for this. He went to the jumbo heavy, ran the stretch, got seven, tied this ball game up. This is going to be a hell game. And lights on the flip side, when you're talking about Skimbo, I get it, it's the first drive. How frustrating is that drive as a player, knowing that all he did was run with Lamar Jackson. You sort of knew what was coming, but at the end of the day, you still couldn't stop him. Especially versus this offense, because it's almost like, hey, I prepared for Panther Heavy. Hopefully my defense works. If it doesn't, what am I going to do? How do I adjust to it? Do I have a backup plan? Do I have a secondary defense to go to? Do I stay with the defense that I was in? As you see this replay. And look, it's just a stretch play to Ingram. Whoop! And I will point out, great blocking up front, but that's two missed tackles from Skimbo. you got to clean that up against a run-heavy offense. Definitely. Now let's see what Skimbo does in response. Look right side. Hey. That guy's 99 overall. You should probably have somebody on DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, definitely. Great play right there. Motion stick at a bunch. That's a small, short corner. Uh, Hopkins already gets that boost with the post flag elite ability. Hopkins on the right side, though. There we go, a little pass to the flat. Gillespie has got some room. He's trying to make another man miss down to the 42-yard line. And you're seeing Skimbo, first couple plays of his first drive, it was a lot of looking to stretch the field. Now. He's really taking the underneath passes and letting it stick to the work. Exactly. Like I said, initially he was trying to attack with that verticals play. Timor had the D for it, but I don't know if he has the D for everything else. Watson on first and ten. Dropping back, throwing this one away. No, didn't like what he saw downfield. That may be one of the toughest skills to learn as a player who wants to become a top competitive player. Just know when there's nothing there, just throw the ball away. Yeah, don't force it. I mean, Skimbo knows this is a long game. Incomplete pass is nothing right there. Second attempt, Ooh. Watson over the middle. Oh my. Oh, uh, Will Fuller doing his best DeAndre Hopkins impression, bailing out Skimbo with a double coverage throw. You can see Skim knows that one. He probably got away with one You can tell by Skimbo's face. Uh, Timor was lurking on a safety, that is a pick. Unfortunately, linebackers in this game cannot jump as high, ball hook as high as a safety. So that might have to be an adjustment later on that Timor makes is control one of those safeties over the top. Great D. Bottled up, gets out of the pocket, throws it back across his body, finds D Hop, who's just Ooh. standing there all alone. And that looked like Bill Goldberg out there with the spear taken down DeAndre Hopkins for an eight yard game. So that was just Skimbo being great, finding a way to make something out of nothing. But man, is he struggling right now. He, he, he possibly could score, but he is not making it look easy. All right, so right Coming here. Coming up at halftime, we've got some highlights from Clef the Gods game. One of the guys, Lights, talking to people. Clef's one of the three favorites at the uh, Classic. A lot of people like what they've seen from him online. Yeah, I think if you're not including Skimbo, Kiv, and Drini, he's next. I think he is currently the best Madden 20 player. Uh, clear f favorite. He won uh, two Road to the Classics for uh, Not the just one. He two. took two of those bad boys. Mm -hmm. And he is just a dominant passer. He doesn't have to run the ball. Even though the run is the meta, he uses the Texans and could just pass every down with success. Speaking of the Texans, third and three for Skimbo and the Texans. See, he motions out Hopkins. Steps up in the pocket, looks over the middle. He's a 99 overall. He's putting six on the board. D-Hop one more time. Skimbo back in the lead. Great way to answer back right there. Again, rocking that mesh post, motion the post out, seeing the separation. He had a hitch underneath, zone played the hitch, post was open over the top. It's that easy. Lights out makes it sound so easy, yet when I do that, I throw a pick. I mean, Skimbo almost threw two picks. What do you think about maybe putting Earl Thomas in that spot? If Earl Thomas was at safety, do you think he plays that with his ball hawk ability? I think you, I think, what we've seen from Skimbo so far is when he gets down to the red zone, just look at this one more time. He's looking to attack the middle of the field. There's the post route. A little hitch low. underneath held it. I think you have to put your best player back there who's going to make that ball hawking play. I think he has Earl on the right side, but if he's going to run a type of cover three, you probably want Earl at single high, deep. So here goes Lamar. And we were yeah. talking before this, Lights. 
the tough part about the Lamar Jackson, the Panther heavy offense is you can't get down too hard. Not even that. Look at the clock. Only 46 seconds left, only one timeout. Right Whoa. there, fortunate. Does he get a block downfield? He'll step out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So you still have the ability to break the big play, but if any sort of run defense shows up, this clock's going to run out on him. Yeah, if he had three timeouts, it's no problem. But the fact he only has one timeout, he gets stopped, the clock's going to run. Like right here, Jumbo Heavy, what are you going to do? You really want to run the ball here? I'm expecting a corner out, actually. Nope. He's going to motion Andrews over to the left side. This is indicative of what he's been doing with some of those stretch runs. Corner out left. All right, here he goes, he's throwing the ball. Lamar using his arm for the first time. He's going to chug it up one on one. That's Hayden Hurst making a diving play, but can't come up with the catch. Timor taking his shot. The Texans defense stepping up. I think that was a little bit obvious. I think Skimbo knew he was passing. He took a long time to hike that ball. You, you got you to gotta really mix it in if you're going to run jumbo heavy passing like that. And now he's going to come down into that single back jumbo heavy. Mark Ingram in the backfield. Ravens are the perfect team to run this, though, because they have two great tight ends in Hurst and Andrews. Second and 10. Lamar looking left side. That's just Hurst in the flat. And if you're Skimbo, you're happy with him taking that route all day long as he has to use a timeout there to stop the clock. It's possible he threw to the wrong button because he did have the running back wheel open. He ran with a, a wheel flat combo on that left side and threw to the actual guy that was guarded. The running back wheel was open. That would have got him about 20 yards. Unfortunately, he missed it. What a weekend here at the Madden Classic. So happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco lights out with you. James Coe keeping tabs of all the other happenings. As we got Clef the God, we'll find out how his game is going coming up at halftime, but we still got 30 seconds of the first half here. Third and eight, Jackson dropping back. Looking left side, corner route picked up, Bradley Roby. And can he get up and make a play? He'll be taken down at the 38-yard line. That is the one thing you wouldn't, didn't want to do is turn the ball over late in the half. Yeah, see, this is something that Timor needs to know. In the Panther Heavy, those corner routes are great. They beat man coverage. They do not get above the Cloud Flats. And right there, he thought it was going to, but you should know, cover two is going to pick that off every time. Roby, skying for that one. And now can Skimbo make something happen? Watson on first and 10, looking to the wheel route, has Will Fuller. And just like that, Skimbo in field goal range. So he finally went back to the verticals. Timor was trying to adjust to everything else that Skimbo's been doing. That was man-to-man -man coverage. Fuller's going to beat that every time on that wheel. Possible field goal right here. And he has two timeouts. See what Skimbo does. First and 10. This is a quick drag underneath. He's got Kiki Kuti in space. Steps out of bounds at the 18-yard line. 12 seconds left, lights. What's your game plan? How many plays do you think you can run? I think he can take. I would try to get a first down call timeout and then try a couple high point passes at around the 11, 10 yard line. I think that's what Skimbo is going to try to do. Maybe even a flat pass. Try to get close to where you're going to easily get red zone shots. There's Watson stepping up, nine seconds. He'll look underneath, he finds Kuti one more time. Seven seconds out of bounds. So he saved the timeout, but it really doesn't matter at this point, only seven seconds left. I think you have to take a shot here. You don't get it You easily with no issues. Take three, go up two scores. Got to think. He's looking for D-Hop on second and six. Good user gets back there with Clark. Three seconds, two seconds, throws it away. But the important thing lights, a field goal here puts him up two scores against a run-heavy offense. That is huge for Michael Skimbo. 100%. I mean, Timor does get the ball at half, so this game is definitely not over. But he needs seven on this next drive. Triple so. zeros on the clock. The back-to-back -back classic belt winner up 17-7. Clef the God in action now. For more on that, let's throw it over to James Coe. James, what's going on? Well, Clef the God is in firm, firm control. Clef the God playing as the Texans. Lamar Miller out wide. Easy touchdown. Easy touchdown. That made it 10 to 3. Excuse me, 10 to nothing. 10 to 3, the score here in the second quarter. And Clef looking deep, and that's a score. Nuke Hopkins, one of two touchdowns for Nuke in this ball game. And how about the defense? Clef playing on both sides of the ball. It don't matter Ooh. what you, oh, how about that oh, little hezzy move? A little hezzy. Oh, he was just nasty with that stick work and now he is absolutely dominating. 31 to three, your score right now. Clef the God absolutely running away with it. All right, getting you back to the featured game. T Moore taking on Skimbo. It is Nick Mazesco and lights out, gentlemen. Clef, that's your fellow Madden player. You just did him dirty with that little hesitation. You can't do that. 
So he's gonna advance. <laughs> top to two. You're not calling the comebacks? Six. Not thinking. No. Not seeing a comeback from Mike. Uh uh. The kick is away. We're back inside Pizza Hut Stadium, and it is Timor. He's down ten, getting the ball back, and now that he's no longer in that two-minute offense, he can get back to the Panther heavy, running with Lamar Jackson. What I would have liked to see at the end of that second quarter, I mean, the Panthers' playbook is really not a bad playbook. You know what I mean? They could, he could have went to shotgun a slot. He could have went to gun empty bunch. He could have went to gun bunch. Instead, he stayed with the heavy Panther when there was barely any time left, and that was a big reason why he didn't get any points. But like you said, now that it's a brand new quarter, he has all the time in the world. He doesn't. He's not rushed. He could take as much time, score, and only be a three a three point game. Lamar and it's house time. Right side. It's he's house. got a lot of room. Can Skimbo get a stop? Lamar still running inside the 40, down to the 38 yard line. Nine carries, 110 for the former Louisville Cardinal. That was excellent stick by Skimbo. Uh, maybe you didn't, like, possibly, maybe not notice that, but Skimbo prevented that touchdown. That was a house call, and the way that Skimbo was able to straight back and defend that was a very, very good user skill play. It is a handoff up the middle for Mark Ingram, and Light's the great part, though, about this double elimination format, even if Timor or if he comes back and wins, even if Skimbo loses, the loser of this game's still alive because they take their only their first loss here in the tournament. Exactly. I mean, Timor doesn't want to lose, but... He was unfortunate enough to play Skimbo the second game. So if he bounces back, I'm, I'm not even going to call it that he's going to lose. Let, let's, let's, let's see how this game goes first. But if he does somehow lose, he's definitely not out of it. Tell me, if you're looking at a team to take down Lamar Jackson, this Panther heavy, Texas have got to be a top choice because they've got a great D-line, Clowney and Watt. Maybe not as strong in the secondary, but you're not looking at stopping the pass game. You're looking for good tacklers, good linebackers, and a strong front seven. 100%. It's actually funny. I was. Uh, Labbing this with a fellow Madden player. And uh, Clowney and Watt, you can move them around. They could both be an outside linebacker. They could be a defensive, uh, well, Watt could be a defensive tackle. They could be a defensive end. So depending on your play setup, you could find ways to lock up this Panther heavy. And Skimbo's doing a really good job so far. It's Mark Ingram getting into the game. His third carry. Nice tackle by Merciless. Second and nine for Timor. As another. Uh, Another one of the downsides of the Panther Heavy. It uses a lot of clock as we're nearing the two minute mark in the third quarter already. The first drive of the second half. I like this motion though right here. Andrews out to the left side. Looks like they're gonna throw it. Lamar looks to the wheel. That's Mark Ingram, that's a first down. Nice job pulling out the pass play when Skimbo wasn't expecting it. That was a beautiful pass play right there. He had the wheel flat on the left. He also had a high low with a post and an in route. Made it very simple. Skimbo wasn't blitzing, so if you're not blitzing, sending five routes is definitely key. Let's see if Timor goes back to that eventually. I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna run with Lamar, but when he needs to pass, that was a great setup. And come down into the single back jumbo heavy and handed to Mark Ingram. Seen a lot more on Mark on this drive as he'll pick up four. Stretch run right side. I like the audible. It's forcing Skimbo to respect the stretch dive combo um, and some passes out of it. Skimbo's kind of staying in that same defense. Bend but don't break right here. Controlling the left safety, that's important. Let's see what he does. There's Lamar. And again, Lamar's been able to break a couple big runs, but for the most part, Skimbo's done a nice job of containing when we've seen in games, Lamar Jackson with 200, 300 yards already in the uh, second half, he's been able to contain Lamar Jackson. Oh yeah, I mean, it's clear that Skimbo definitely prepared for this, and it's showing. He's not destroying it, he's not locking it up, but he's doing enough right here to where if he could hold uh, Timor to three, and then even just get three points, this game's gonna probably be wrapped up. How about a little passing attack. Lamar gets out of the pocket, dumps this off underneath, but not a whole lot there. Decision time. It, it's so unfortunate because it's so easy to get two yards with the Panther Heavy that you almost want to go for it right now, but you're down two scores. Oh, man. Timor wants to go for this so bad, he just can't. Was he that third and four play an episode of Timor maybe overthinking it? 100%. I mean, he went up and down the field. Yes, he's getting stopped sometimes, but the quarterback run is getting a solid three-plus yards. Should right. He should have stayed with it. All right, y'all, grab yourself a drink. Get settled in. Fours up in the chat. It's fourth quarter time. Skimbo, 17-7 lead, and coming out of the third quarter break, Timor gone, now we going for this. Panther heavy, Lamar Jackson, he's gonna take it himself. Lamar's gonna pick up the first down, two yards, no problem for Action Jackson. I really like that call, especially because he's playing Skimbo. I know he's down two possessions, but Skimbo's gonna get points. Great touchdown right there. And there's Lamar into the end zone, Timor. 
go cuts for two. it back to four. Go for two, why not? It's, it's not smart to go for two, but it's, it's not, so easy to get two yards. That was not a condoning of him going for two. But it's up, it's good, it's a three-point game. And Lights, are you surprised to see the back-to-back -back classic winner in a dogfight only with a three-point lead as we begin the fourth quarter? I'm not surprised at all. I think Skimbo knows of Timor. I think he knew this was going to be a hell game, especially when seeing the Ravens with Panther heavy. Skimbo didn't, like I said, Skimbo did not want to play Timor as he gets a huge kick return right here. Talk about a thing that's changed a lot from Madden 19 to Madden 20. I feel like kick returns are way harder in Madden 20, so when you're able to get a big return, that can be a momentum changer. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's very rare you're going to get a kick return to the house, almost to the point where you shouldn't even take it back, but <laughs> great sack right there. Woo. Pierce telling Deshaun Watson to sit down right here. You're not going anywhere. Loss of three on the play, and now a second and 13. This drive critical for the three-time belt winner, Watson. Trying to get out of the pocket, has to throw it away. And does it, is it just me or does it feel like Timor's building some confidence right now? And if he gets a stop on third down, who knows what happens? I definitely agree. He kind of changed up his defense. He's going back to what he was running with the pinch defensive line. He's probably going to send six here. Four Skimbo to make a quick throw. Fuller in motion, Watson, it's only a four man rush. He's going to look over to the right side. That's Fuller. He is short of the line to gain, though. Fourth and one. And how about this, Timor? You want to get an upset? You got to make a stop here on fourth and short. Let's see what he goes to. Is he going to stay in the nickel normal? He is. Do you go hard flats? Expect hard flats. Skimbo's going to expect that. Watch a corner route over the top. Fourth and one. Here goes Watson. Looking underneath. That's Kuti. Well, drag route. Needed one. Got two. First down for Michael Skimbo. Skimbo's so good, man. <laughs> He's just so good. Like, he's just shaking his head. He's like, <laughs> I mean, what do you do? Because if the drag wasn't open, he would have hit a corner out. If the corner out wasn't open, he would have gotten out of the pocket with Watson. Uh, how do you defend five strategies? I would be so afraid to send five routes out. Like he just sent all five routes out on fourth down, where if a blitz would have definitely sacked him, and he easily got it. First and 10, Watson right up the middle. Haven't seen a whole lot of scrambling from Deshaun. I think that's there. I think that is something that Skimbo needs to start doing more in the later games. Because with Watson, especially against a three-man, four-man rush, he got to attack that. Now you start looking at that clock under the 320 mark. Only a three-point game, but you know Skimbo is watching that clock, trying to control T.O.P. It's a quick throw underneath to Gillespie. Pick up a first down to the 29-yard line. And right uh, there, Timor brought the blitz, and Skimbo said, no problem, dump it off. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he's blitzing at his zone. He has the flats going, dropping back in soft squats or cloud flats. And Skimbo's just, he's too good. He's, he's a machine with, with throwing high-low reads to the sidelines. He's been doing it for a living. And, yeah, if you're going to run something like that, you almost have to play man coverage if you're going to blitz. All right, for the people at home, maybe not quite as versed in Madden as you are as an expert, what is a high-low read? What can you do at home to see what uh, the high-low read does against some of these defenses? Great pass right there. Uh, High-low is just essentially if you have a flat and a corner route over the top, that way one flat zone, depending on if it's a hard flat playing low or a cloud flat playing above, can't play both routes. So you have to ha you're attacking one zone defender. You're making one zone defender a conflict player. And whatever they do, you throw either above or below it. It's a lights out tip. So Watson takes off, slides down at the five. Is it weird that Skimbo's up by three and yet it feels like he's up by 15. He seems so confident going down the field. It doesn't seem like there's an answer from Timor defensively. It's almost like any other game, you're like expecting the person with the ball up to almost, you're waiting for them to make a mistake. Skimbo is not going to make a mistake. I mean, you might hold him to three right here, but he's not going to, he's just, he's just too talented. He's just too, too much of a veteran to blow these type of games. I might have just jinxed him. <laughs> Fullback, Gillespie. Stop short of the line to gain. 219 and counting, only one timeout for Timor. Big third and one, as we'll hit the two-minute warning. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate for Timor because if he gets his first down, uh, you almost I don't know, man. One only one timeout, this is rough. He's gotta lock this down. Hand off to the fullback. Gillespie, he's gonna get into the end zone. I think if you're Timor. You'd rather him get into the end zone than get stopped at the one yard line. Yes, at this point, yeah, I mean, anything could happen. Get a quick score, possible onside kick. Supposedly Scott Cole has an onside kick, 70%. Act, I don't know. Cole, Cole was talking about how good he is on onside kicks. 
So maybe Timor uh, got in touch with Scott Cole about it. But first, Timor has to score. And like you said, yeah, he had to have gave, given that up because if he would have got the first down, the clock would have just dwindled and it would have been a wrap. Here goes Hollywood Brown to the 24-yard line, 154 to go. And Lights, this is what we said is the tough part about the Panther heavy. He's down two scores. We haven't really seen that passing offense yet, and he's going to have to come out and try to throw the ball coming out in this uh, gun trips wide flex. Yeah, and this is exactly what Skimbo wants right here. You could tell that 146 is probably Skimbo's base defense. He, he seems comfortable and watch the left side pressure right here. Andrews maybe is blocking, but there's really not much options other than Hollywood Brown. First and 10, Lamar. Got Waiting, him. looking. Nobody there, so he's going to take off. In a shocking turn of events, Lamar Jackson uses his legs. <laughs> so what would you do? Would you try to get a field goal as fast as possible, or are you going to try yes. to get a quick score? I think you have to get, I mean, again, if you don't recover an onside kick, it doesn't matter at this point. True. So just get points. 24-14, Skimbo on top. I love it. Oh, oh he's past the line of scrimmage. Can get an illegal forward pass. That's a killer because it was a great read to the tight end Andrews. Yeah, it was it was half sticky, but half not, obviously, because he you know went past the line of scrimmage. But I like that he stepped up, faked the run, and then hit the corner out. But unfortunately, he got the penalty. Like half like sticky, that. half stuck. <laughs> Second and 15. Empty backfield. Timor trying to keep his hopes alive. A win here. And the winner's qualifier. Lamar, right side, takes off, slides down at the 44-yard line. 16 carries, 160, no big deal. See, if Timor would have just did this at the end of the half, just got in this set, would have got three, wouldn't have been down two scores. Instead, he elected to stay in the Panther heavy. And in a shocking turn of events, Lamar Jackson is sacked. Yeah, how big is that field goal before the half? which the only reason he had that opportunity was Timor got aggressive, threw it down the field, threw an interception, Skimbo turned it into three. Yeah, it was a bad pick, and like I said, just a bad decision to stay in the Panther heavy slash jumbo heavy scheme. The Panthers book is way too good for that. You could be in this empty bunch and easily would have got a field goal right there if he was Timor in the second quarter. 42 seconds left. Timor, fourth and 14. AJ. Getting chased by Watt. Stands in the pocket, looks left side for Boykin. Feet inbounds, picks up the first down, stays alive. Staying alive, baby. Staying alive. Shout out to the Bee Gees. <laughs> Barry Gibb, big Madden fan. All right, so I'm I'm thinking maybe a quick a quick running back. I, I a flat wheel combo, something where you got to get to the flats, get out of bounds, kick your three, and then anything could possibly happen. First and ten. Four. Team more. Empty backfield one more time. Screamer right side, he avoids it. Lamar takes off, picks up the first, All steps right. out of bounds. There's his three. Here you go from the 29 yard line. Timor trying to stay alive. 45 yard attempt from the left, hash marks. It is up, it is good. Is something magical gonna happen at this Pizza Hut Stadium? Do you think he gets this onside kick? I doubt it. But you never know. You never know. The Cole magic, is it there? No, no it's not. Humble. It's not there. Fall down, and Skimbo is going to survive. Here we go. Here we go. Here How we about go. that game? Skimbo, proven why he's won this two more times. We have a phenomenal game going on, though, with the underrated king in a dogfight. James, what's going on in that one? This game is just I've been, insane. I've been watching James freak out. <laughs> it is insane right now. Um, do we have the highlights, guys? Let's go to it quickly.